Hello and welcome to Back Gaming and another The Sims 4 tutorial in which I'm going to teach you how to make a trolley replacement and change the banner on the side of the trolley. The programs we are going to use are the game The Sims 4, a program to open and save DDS files like Photoshop or GIMP, I'm going to use Photoshop and The Sims 4 Studio. For more information about those programs and some download links look down below in the description. So let's start in the Sims 4 Studio. First fill in your creator name, then go to the object section, select override and click the object button. In the next window check the show debug object checkbox, then go to the search bar and type in the width 13 CD. The trolley will appear, so click it and then click next to make it into its own package file. In the next window name your package file and then click save to save it to your project folder. Now if you see something like this in your object viewer, scroll down to zoom out and press and hold the right mouse button to change the view. As this is a world object, we don't have to change anything in the catalog section, so we click right away on the texture section. In the texture section, click the export button to export the trolley's texture file. Now name this file and click save to save to your project folder and then open it in Photoshop. In Photoshop we're first going to make a copy of the background layer. To do so be sure your background layer is selected and press Ctrl J. Now the next thing we're going to do is zoom in on this original banner and to do so press and hold Alt and use scroll wheel up. Then press and hold spacebar like this and then use your left mouse button to center the banner. Now to cut out the original banner we need the rectangular marquee tool. You can find it right here or press M on your keyboard. Now go to this corner right here and then drag a selection to this corner right here. Now before hitting the delete key first hide the background layer. Then press delete. We can deselect our selection now, so press Ctrl D. Now we need to fix the parts that used to hang here and here. So to do so, first select your background layer, then make it visible, then use the rectangular marquee tool, so probably it's still selected, otherwise use the M key, and then make a selection around the ripped parts. After that hit Ctrl J to copy them to their own layer. After that hide layer 1 and hide the background layer. Now select layer 2 and click the add layer mask button that can be found right next to the fx button at the bottom of the layers tab. When this square is selected then press D on your keyboard and after that press X so your foreground color is black and your background color is white. Then we need our brush tool so press B on your keyboard. Now zoom in on the banner Press and hold spacebar to center it and then use your brush tool to delete parts. If you click right here with your left mouse button and then press and hold shift and click here, you will see that everything in between will get deleted. Now delete everything except for the ripped parts here and here, so you will end with something like this. Now go to layer 1 and make it visible again. Now I'm going to add my banner, so I went to The Sims 4 and made a screenshot of Granite Falls that will become my new banner. So first I'm going to minimalize this window, uh, put it to this side and then open my screenshot and drag it into this texture file. So this is my screenshot, I'm going to select the move tool, you can click right here or press V on your keyboard and then click and hold the left mouse button and drag it into the texture file. Then make this window large and press Ctrl 0 to see the whole texture file. Now press Ctrl T and then move this one in place. So let's go with this and then press enter. Now as you can see right now my ripped parts are gone again so select layer 3 and drag it underneath layer 2. After that zoom in on the banner and then center it again. 
Now, as you can see right here, it looks quite flat. So we're going to add some shadows. To do so, first select the background and make it visible. Then press M for the rectangular marquee tool and make a selection around this border over here. And then press Ctrl J. Select the background again and make a selection around this border over here. And then again, press Ctrl J. Now move layer five and four that we just made above layer three. So above the picture of the new banner you added. Then double click layer four or layer five and click drop shadow. For angle choose 135 and the distance will be 10. As you can already see right now, there's already a shadow right here. So click OK. Then right mouse click on layer 4 and choose copy layer style. Then right mouse click on layer 5 and choose paste layer style. Do the same for layer 2, which are the ripped parts. So right mouse button and then paste layer style. Now as you can see, we created some depth on our banner. The last thing I'm going to add is some text. So I click on layer 1 and after that click the text tool. Then click on the banner and type granite false. Then press the move tool icon. And this is the right place. Then double click granite false, choose stroke for color white, press OK and again OK. And then my banner is ready. So after this go to file and click on save as. Now name your file and then for format choose DDS and click on save. In the next window choose DXT5 and generate MIP maps and click save again. After this go back into the Sims 4 studio. Back in the Sims 4 studio go to the texture section and click on import. Then select your new file and click on open. And as you can see your new file will replace the default trolley banner and if you click save and after that ok and place it into your mods folder you can see it in game so let's check out how this will look in game right now in game you can then choose this slot in willow creek to be able to see the trolley or this one in new crest and then fast forward the game until the trolley drives by to see the new banner as always, I hope you all liked this tutorial and if you did, be sure to hit that like button and share my video so more people will be able to find it. If you got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Don't want to miss any other tutorials, custom content videos or the Sims 4 effect player episodes, then please subscribe and hope to see you next time here on Banky Gaming.